We've had a huge 8.2 magnitude earthquake striking Alaska. Large aftershocks are still ongoing. We've had an 8.2 magnitude earthquake striking Alaska. And uh, thank goodness it was in an area of uh, the Pacific Ocean, the North Pacific Ocean, the Ring of Fire, on the Aleutian Islands, and it was not closer to the mainland. There are not that many people living there, but as you can understand, this was a very huge earthquake and many very sized, uh, large sized aftershocks going on. And uh, this is what it looks like, 8.2, uh, which this is the, today, 4.2 is the last hour. And um, this is the area, okay, just for you to get a, a feeling of where it is, Bristol Bay, Aleutian Islands. And uh, panning out, Anchorage is here, okay, right here. Denali, remember we had a very strong earthquake, Denali, 6.4 years ago, but that caused uh, a tremendous amount of um, damage. Now this one here, our shake map, kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Let's go to our topographic so that we can see better. There's not that much of a population there as far as density is concerned. This, of course, is on the fault line passing through, creating all those volcanic islands of the Aleutian Islands and a subduction zone area. Now, landslide estimate, yes, there is a landslide estimate. Uh, if you, we, we can't really see it in here, but it's there's so many contours of our earthquake. Let's go in landslide area, but there's from what I understand, there's not many people living there anyway on that specific location. I'm trying to get in there. It's not allowing me. Okay, that's okay. We'll go back. There we go. Okay. This, even this went back. Let's go in again. This is our earthquake here. The 8.2. Right here. And um, 32 kilometers depth. We've had other large earth, uh, aftershocks as well. 6.1. Okay, that was about 4 minutes after the main shock. 4 minutes later. And this was about... Okay, 10 minutes later. As you can see, they were all over the place here. And this is a, a trench, as we can see. And let's pull out here. If it will allow us to pull out. It's getting a little temperamental. Okay, here we go. So it's waking up again. All right. So as we said before, let's go back to our aerial. Alaska is around here. And... Um, trying to see, there's not that many people that reported feeling it to the USGS and um, this happened about 12 hours ago but it's still ongoing. 268 people reported feeling it. Shake map, tsunami warning, let's see. No tsunami warning, advisory watch or threat. Okay, that's good, that's good. And this is Alaska over here as we said. Sorry, um, uh, Anchorage over here. Okay, green, so no tsunami advisory warning. And going back again to our information. Aftershock forecast, our model of the expected numbers and odds of future earthquakes. Be ready for more earthquakes, of course, because it was a huge earthquake. We still, we're still having aftershocks and um, 32 kilometers depth, 27 kilometers depth. The latest one was 4.2 at the surface. Um, as you can see, 47, about 50 kilometers depth. And again, that's a surface, 3.2 is surface. Okay, 21 kilometers depth. 
So um, now I want to see. This is um, just because Canada doesn't show any earthquakes here does not mean that Canada does not have earthquakes. It does. And if you go to the Canadian earthquake map, here we are. Okay, you can see that uh, this one was today. This one was today, 4.6, and just off Vancouver Island, 3.8. The 4.6, okay, 4.6, event UTC at uh, 619. And going back to this, sorry, there's a car passing by, blasting away, 615. So the one at Canada, in Canada, was four minutes after this one, the major Alaska quake. The Canadian quake was four minutes after the Alaska quake, which is not shown here. It only shows the Canada, uh, the Canadian ones. This one here, this was about 30 minutes later, the 3.8 in Vancouver. Uh, let's go see, so you, we can see that it travels, the, the energy, obviously from what geologists explained to us in the past, this big earthquakes, of course, do jolt, jolt other areas' fault lines. Um, of course, unfortunately, USGS does not show us the activity here, but we just saw them in the Canada map. Okay, this was about four minutes later, this was about uh, 30 minutes later. Um, just off the US Canada coast and um, they don't show they don't really show us here okay this was uh, way earlier okay so all of you there please be very careful all of you on the west coast also be very careful because we did have the energy going down uh, on the west coast of Canada and it I don't know if it's related to this but it could be because as we saw from the Frequency map obviously jolted this uh, San Andreas Fault as well on the Cascadia area. So all of you there, please be very careful. This is uh, obviously shaking, very intense, and they're still going on. Please be very careful. Please leave your, com contact, uh, your comments, and I'll leave links below for you so you can keep your eyes on what's going on here. Thank you for your support.